So hey everyone, welcome back for a new video. As you can see in front of you today, we're going to be comparing two file explorer. The one on the left is the default Windows 11 file explorer, while the one on the right is one commander. If you don't know what one commander is, it's an open source project, basically a file explorer that is so customizable and also useful at the same time. And uh, in that case, might be much better than Windows 11, but we're going to find out about that today by comparing both the Windows File Explorer and One Commander. So let's start with the first thing, which is the looks. You can see that both are kind of so similar, especially when it's about the way it's managed. We got the icons on the side. The same thing over here. You can customize that, by the way, which you can't in Windows 11 File Explorer. But we're going to talk about that later. Also, we got the history. So in here, for example, if you select a document, whatever, it's going to show up in your history. Well, in here, not really the case. There is no history, no whatsoever. So uh, that's a thing we're going to take a look at as well. Talking about the icons. Uh, one commander have the option in the settings, which lets you basically customize everything and especially the icons. Over here, you can see also you can choose the Windows 11 icons to show up as your, you know, default icons in One Explorer and make it similar to Windows 11. I'm going to just keep mine for now. I don't want to make no changes whatsoever. So uh, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, and this is similar, which is the top. You can see that both have the same style of having uh, multiple, uh, you know, windows option on the top. So that's a thing as well. Another thing that Windows doesn't have it is this. You can go, uh, you see in the bottom over here, you can select the style, how you can view your windows, even like this. And yeah, three styles that you can choose in between while this is not the thing in the windows 10 one you can see it's super simple there is nothing you can change in here besides the icons and that simply is also you can add the end the preview thing on the side which is something that comes by default in one commander what else yeah i can say that the windows 11 one or the windows 10 because this one is also similar to the windows 10 one they're almost you know super simple and nothing extra to it well the one on the right which is one commander is so kind of complex and got more options and stacked with options and that's what i like you know i like when an app gave me the option to customize it to change stuff and make things the way i like it while the windows 11 file export doesn't give me that at all besides i can maybe change the colors of the icons and stuff in the settings based on what's my desktop color but that's it while on the other side one commander gives you all do stuff to choose in between including the colors of course the icons the folders icons as well everything basically everything and here the team as well so you can make it look like windows 10 as well windows 11 those are all the available teams we got one two three four five six teams over here while windows 11 file explorer comes with one team and one team only you cannot change it whatsoever also, we can check more options. As you can see in here, there's a lot of stuff that you can change and customize based on your mood. What else? Let's talk about like, for example, file creation. Let's go to downloads and see that what we can do. You can create a new folder this way. That's so fancy, actually. There you go. So we created a folder. While in here, if we come to the same place, yeah, basically the normal context menu nothing special about it well in here look at this looks much better to be honest and also i can say that this is a really good thing for people that doesn't want to change their you know their context menu because for example me i use uh explorer patcher in order to you know disable the windows 11 context menu if you don't want to do this and you just want that context menu in your file explorer without any additional changes to your system you can basically install this comes by default look at that i didn't change anything i just installed it 
and they got everything. Almost like the classic context menu, but this one is with much more options that you can choose in between. And also looking much better than the Windows 10 one, to be honest. Let's get back to the Windows 11 File Explorer in here. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff because I don't really have that much time to record this video. But in the same time, I can say that it's much, mu much more better, actually. You can see that in here it's simple as hell, but while on the other side, it's like, ooh, look at all of this. I need all day to just show every single options that this one commander application have. Anyways, let's just close this because there is no chance Windows 11 File Explorer will be winning in front of this. So let's focus more on one commander, which is actually the reason I'm making this video. I, I was thinking about making this video a long time ago, but uh, finally I did it now after a lot of time, but that doesn't matter. So uh, in the top in here, you got also the way you want to show up your icons, for example, like this, like this, like this. You, you decide. There is literally one, two, three, four, five, six styles. Also, you can like show the full icons and here you can add a file or a folder or a notes. Let's try the notes one. Cool. You will have a notes. There you go. Let's delete that for now. What else? This one is open script folder. Okay, so you can make a script folder, which is really interesting. What is this actually? What's all of this? Save folder list as text. What's the location of this? Okay, I can just close this. Oh, so this is a script folder. Now I understand what that means. The script folder for the application itself. So you can change stuff in the script of one commander itself manually if you want to do so, let's say. Now I understand what the points of that icon in the side. Also, I like this, honestly. Look at all of this. You can see even the percentage of uh, how much of your disk is used. Also in here you got the last time your folder was edited, I guess. Maybe, I think, I'm not sure. Because uh, I haven't used the application for so long now, as you can see. And uh, yeah, what else? Let's just get back to defaults. And uh, I guess that's simply it. Oh, wow. What is this? What's this? So in here, download. Oh, it shows you exactly the location of your documents or applications. Look at that. So, for example, you can see that we're in downloads right now. Once you click on here, you can sh see the source where that folder is located. Pretty cool. Also, I like the icons. Those are much better than the Windows 11 File Explorer ones. Let's be honest. Even if the Windows 11 icons are available in this application as well, but I have chosen this one. And I have chosen the orange color because it's my favorite color. I love it, honestly. But, you know, let's take a look at the settings even more. You can also press in space for... Uh -huh. Okay, person jump. A lot of stuff I want really know what they means use local thumbnail does a face faster oh also there is a pro version of this that's really cool picture so this is basically the preview for your icons i see and uh, that's really cool honestly original size x uh, image scaling interpolation smooth better quality pixelated better performance so you can choose if you use this one the smooth, it's going to have a better quality, but the pixelated, it's going to have much more like performance, but less quality. Really good. Global hold key for open. Okay, so you select window, alt, and E. Okay, so let's do that. Window, alt, and key. Okay, let E. Here you go. So there is a shortcut you can use in order to open the application. Pretty cool, pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. What else is in here? Show window name and taskbar. So I have the taskbar over here. If I select this one, is it gonna show a name? What? Wait, they mean that it's gonna show this where in downloads or something? No, I don't know how that works, honestly. Let's go to columns. So you can also maybe create column without animating. Let's, let's see if, uh, so does it have an animation or like what's columns? How can I create columns? This is the thing. Hmm. What's our columns, by the way? Columns, 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 not the groups one. New without animating columns. Okay. So that's something. Okay. Fun mm -hmm. team. 
of course we talked about the team nothing really and this what that is by the way this is much more complicated than i actually thought days hours minutes wow okay so this is actually well stacked and it's free remember that it's free there is nothing you need to pay in order to get all of this which is really amazing i like that i have a question for you guys like which one will do you choose are you gonna choose this one or this one over here which one like for me i will choose i will keep using one commander honestly it's much better even they're kind of similar but not really there there is a big difference only about looks we can agree that they're similar kind of about looks if i select this and go with this no which one this one or this one? Oh, there is no thumbnails wait oh okay forget about it but when it's about looks they're kind of similar okay the positions for the icons the you know everything almost the same but in the same time way different really way different for me i will choose one commander let me know in the comments what you thought about this one commander file explorer i'll be happy to read your comments actually and uh, this was it for today's video if you liked the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one